Hi, this is Ross Gordon from the Connecticut Backgammon Club and the USBGF Meetup Coordinator. This video today is going to teach you how to basically use the clocks for a backgammon tournament. Since there's no real actual backgammon clock, what we use are chess clocks, so they can be somewhat complicated and have an enormous number of settings, 90% of which we're not going to use. So they're actually very easy to, to program. Um, there's two clocks that are generally used, uh, the Excalibur and the ZMF. Uh, this video is going to show you how to quickly use the Excalibur uh, chess clock for backgammon. So here we have the Excalibur. Um, it's a fairly complicated machine. There's 91 different settings, uh, preset numbers. Uh, times that is. There are also five user settings uh, that you can create whatever times that you need. There's 26 different options on this clock, uh, but you're only really going to be concerned with two of them. And there's going to be basically seven settings that you're going to have to go through. So uh, the basic on off is underneath. Uh, you just press it and it comes on. You press and hold and it goes off. Okay. This is also how you reset the clock. So once you are using the timer, uh, which I will show you, uh, if you want to reset the game's over and you want to reset again, you have to turn it off and turn it back on. So there's two, you'll see the buttons here. Uh, the first button you're going to look at is the pause and play button. Uh, you put it in pause to program it and you put it in play to play. So the buttons we have is uh, uh, the plus and minus, which are over here. And you have the select and the verify. So all you're going to do is, uh, as with uh, all the clocks, is you're just going to scroll through all of the options. And you're going to pretty much bypass most of them and just stop and alter the ones that you want. So we have, as you can see, set on U1. I'm going to switch it to play so you can see what we set, what we want to see here. So what we have set here is the things you're going to look for, is the minutes, the seconds, the counter, which is really not important unless you just like to know how many moves you made, and of course the delay, uh, which we have for four seconds just for display purposes. So put it back into pause. And to go into the programming mode, you're going to select. And now you can scroll to the plus or minus. And you can see the change. Let me use this hand, see if this will work. So minus, plus. So these are the user presets. And these are 91 preset times, which you don't need to bother with any of them. So we're going to use one. So that's the one we're going to change. Hit select. Select will scroll through all of the different uh, functions. So the first one that comes up is seconds. You don't need that. And you go to minutes. Now, with this clock, there are, because it's a chess clock, there are three time settings. You have the primary, the secondary, and the sudden death. Obviously, we don't need the secondary and sudden death. All you need is the primary. And so that's what we're going to set. So we set it for 11 minutes. That's just an arbitrary number I picked. Select seconds for the right side, minutes for the right side. And then it asks you for a counter. And you're going to get that counter for each of the three time settings. You don't need it. This is, and we start at 0 normally. I don't know why you would do anything else. but. It's up to you, whatever, whenever you prefer. Uh, and then it goes to your secondary. Just scroll through it. And then sudden, just go through it. And then we come to the delay. Now the delay, there are two places that we have to set something. This first one is obviously how much time. So you want a 4, 5, 6, 10 second delay, whatever you want. And then you hit select. So now it's set. So we're going to change it to 10 seconds. 
now there's a whole bunch of other things we're going to just skip through. Uh, there's a claim, don't worry about it. Save, don't worry about it. The counter, you do want it on or off. All right, we want the, in this case, we want the counter on. It's kind of irrelevant, but just a personal preference. Game in, don't worry. Accumulate, don't worry. Sound, again, personal preference, neither here nor there. If you want the sound on, it does give you um, a warning time, which you can also set uh, at, not, at five seconds, 10 seconds, half a minute, um, whatever you prefer. So as the clock times down, when it gets to, in this case, 10 seconds, it will give you one beep, giving you a warning that you have 10 seconds before your time runs out. And then, of course, at the end, it will beep. That's only if you put the sound on. If you can leave the sound off. It's up to you. The next setting will be your delay, whether you want it on or off. So we already set the time for the delay, and here it is uh, on or off. You can, again, with the plus or minus button, on or off. Hit select again. We don't need the word. That's for Scrabble. Uh, seconds. Now, the seconds are interesting. I happen to like uh, seeing the seconds. Um, you don't have to. Uh, again, it's not that important. Um, but some people like to see it. I personally do. So you can turn them on or off. And that was the seconds that I showed you before. Uh, in the small numbers. And that's it, you're done. So here we have 11 minutes aside, 10 seconds for a delay with a warning at, at 10 seconds when you're down, when your 11 minutes gets down to 10 seconds, it will, it will warn you. Okay, so let's go back and let's go to U2. Okay, and hit verify. That will, at any point during the programming, if you hit verify, it will just go back to the beginning and you're, you're all set. So you can go and change one thing and verify and you're done. And it is automatically saved once you do that. Okay, so here I have U2, uh, user2 is set for five seconds just to show you what we have. I set the uh, warning timer at three seconds. So when we put it on play, Okay, we're down to seconds, so you don't see the seconds here. If this was minutes, you would see a double zero over here for seconds. But because we're down to seconds, um, uh, you, it goes away and you, all you have is the seconds. So just to show you how it works, you get the five second delay. It sounds like, it looks like I have the sound off. Oh, there and there's the three. And there it is. And that's the end of the game. Player on the left loses. <laughs> so uh, don't let your time run out. Be aware of it. Uh, and there it is. There is the basic setting for your Excalibur.